what's up my final love sis miss fina d coming to you all from vina entertainment news rachel lindsey abasolo is on a show on mtv called ghosted love gone missing we'll have a story time about when this happened to her and the story is very crazy and it really showed the insight to the type of relationship she was in to the things that she tolerated in her life and now we see why she cried like that because even though she's an attorney you know she's smart she's gorgeous she is a catch an incredible catch but this story just make you realize that she didn't see that she was a catch or her self-worth during this time in her life and when she finally realized choose yourself rachel you can have it all and don't you dare choose someone who don't see you that's why she cried so much so let's get into the story basically the story that rachel explained is that you know it was summertime you know everyone is leaving you know for a summer break from school and you know one of her one of her guy friends basically explained how you know most of their friends have kids and so she was like "Uh uh-uh not my man he ain't got no kids and the friend was like yes he does she was like nope put him on speakerphone called him asked him what he was doing and he said i'm at the mall with my child and the mother of my child okay Rachel said even after she heard that she listened to whatever lies the excuses he had took him back okay dated him for an entire year a whole year and then the mother of his child called her phone her number called her and said listen we are a family this is my man I don't know what you think you're doing the boyfriend comes back basically tell her like you know uh, don't listen to her she's just being a jealous baby mama whatever the case might be and guess what she takes him back dates him again okay until one day she tries calling him and he eventually changed his number okay she couldn't get through she kept calling he ghosted her two years after that you know he finally got in touch with her and told her the story how he just didn't know how to leave her he just didn't know how to leave Rachel alone and just be faithful in his relationship and so the only way was for him to just completely cut her off delete her number change his number move on block her whatever it was that he did because if he kept in touch with her even if they were friends a friendship you know was impossible with her because he wanted to be with her like that on that level so that was and now he and the mother of his children they had another child so now it's the mother of his children they're married and everything is good with them and Rachel is like but I'm not tripping because I'm a wife and whatever the case might be but you know people are saying oh Rachel is just making up this story because she's on the show like why would she do that okay it, this story is just too deep for her to make up another thing is I don't care how young Rachel was this explained why she cried her lashes off I've been saying it from the beginning and I was right I'm not saying she didn't have feelings for the other guy. I'm not saying that at all. She's a catch. She's more than enough. She's amazing. But she did not see that in herself. She did not see her self-worth and how amazing she was and is. And that she's more than enough. So she kept settling. She kept allowing men to mistreat her she look at this story how can you find out that someone lied to you that they had a child you still take them back okay their girlfriend calls you they tell you a lie and you still take them back to the point where they have to cut you off like the person who did you wrong where you were the one who's supposed to cut them off they have to be the one to cut you off that's not someone who knows the self-worth so in that moment with the other guy she cried yes she cared about him okay but wow i can't believe i have this amazing man in front of me who's willing to give me everything that i've 
ever dreamt or asked for Brian Abasolo. And yet, yet, I'm willing to tolerate and possibly go on with the guy who own mother told me he will make you the mother of his child or his children before he makes you a wife. And yet, I'm still beating myself up trying to pick this guy who doesn't see my worth and Brian Apostola see all of those things in me and yet guess who is a part of my final three the douche who doesn't deserve to be here and that's why she cried are you are you going to finally for the first time in your life choose you see your work and choose you and that was her crying away all of those mistreatments and baggage and all of the years of not choosing her and letting go of all of that and that's why she cried like that and look at her life now she's married and trust me all this honeymoon stuff going on I won't be surprised when in the next few months they're announcing that they're pregnant. Okay, but what an interesting story, right? (laughs) But anyways, don't forget to check out Ghosted, MTV Ghosted. Let me give you it. It's called Ghosted Love Gone Missing on MTV. All right? (laughs) It's on MTV, so definitely check your local listings to find out times and days and things like that that the show comes on um i like the show it's not because i support rachel and c it's just because i like the show i've never been ghosted before not in friendships or not in relationships but i completely understand being in love with someone or having an amazing friendship with someone and then the person just disappears i completely understand you know the want and need for closure now i get it you do have people saying things like this is stalking oh this show is this and the third all of those people on the show they all sign a waiver they all now let's give a quick review the first two episodes that i've seen they were decent the very first episode i called it it was very predictable if you have not seen the show definitely give it a try but um this is a spoiler alert <laughs> girl best friend with a boy grew up together best friend ghosted her this she had a boyfriend the boyfriend did not like her best friend um the boy and once i saw that part i figured it out i was like i guarantee you her best friend he was gay slept with her boyfriend and i was right baby the girl broke up with the boyfriend and then the boyfriend goes and contact the best friend they start talking and he slept <laughs> with his best friend ex okay and he just was too embarrassed to admit that to her and so when they came face to face he told her what happened but they chose to be best friends anyway so kudos to her you know hopefully <laughs> You know, she washed her back, busted. And in the second episode, you know, it was decent. Girl, ghosted boy, because she lacks communication skills. He's a comedian, made some jokes. That's what comedians do. She didn't like the jokes because they included her. Instead of her having a simple conversation with her man, she ghosted him. And I like how he stood up for himself. Like, no, I don't want to be with you because because I'm not going to marry someone who can't talk to me. So if we have miscommunication in our marriage, he's just gonna up and leave me with the kids, just up and leave. I like that he did that because she's showing you who she is and believe her. And that's, congratulations to Rachel and Travis on this amazing show. It's going to go ahead and end it here, my friend I left. Thank you all for your love and support. If you're not subscribed to the channel, Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up. Also, turn on notifications so when I do post you where they're posted. And I will see you all in the comment section. Remember to always have the God bless attitude, which is being positive at all times and seeing the good in every situation. Have a great day, guys. God bless you.